Here you can see a simple influence diagram in a gene risk. It's actually just an ordinary Bayesian network, but with some restrictions placed on certain types of nodes, which by convention we make into special shapes, namely diamond shape for utility nodes and rectangular shapes for decision nodes. So this problem is about determining whether or not it's worth hiring a marquee for a charity's summer barbecue event. So if you look in here, there's the decision is either to have no marquee or to have a marquee. And of course, whether or not we have the marquee will determine whether or not the summer barbecue can go ahead or not given rain. So rain is just an ordinary Bayesian network node, which is called just an ordinary chance node. So there's a 5% chance of rain by default. And so this barbecue node in this case, very simply, is just defined as the barbecue will always go ahead unless it rains and we don't have a marquee. The utility nodes are numeric nodes, normally simulation nodes. And other than this one, I'll explain that in a minute, these two here, which is typical of most utility nodes, represent the cost or benefit of their parent. So for example, this one, which is actually called cost, is simply defined as the cost of whether or not we have a marquee. So if there's no marquee, then the cost is zero. And if we have a marquee, the cost is 10,000, which we represent in negative here because it's a negative utility. And similarly, you can see the earnings. So this is just saying that if the barbecue goes ahead and there's no rain, then we make a profit of 100,000. If it goes ahead and there is rain, we make less of a profit because the assumption is we must have the marquee, but because of the rain, fewer people come, so we make slightly less profit. Whereas if it doesn't go ahead, then we lose 20,000, which are the costs of catering and staff, etc. We also have to have one utility node that represents the aggregate of the utilities that we want to maximize. So in this case, I've called that node the utility. And as you can see, it is simply just the sum of the two parents, cost plus earnings. One point before I run the influence diagram tool is to note that in order to create nodes with this shape, because they aren't predefined in a gene risk, if you create a new node, First, we'll change its appearance to, say, a rectangular one. If you hold down the Alt and Shift key, you'll see that you get these new anchor points, which enable you to do things like this, rotate, etc. If you don't want to do that, you can simply import from the model library In the basic folder, Influence Diagrams, Standard Node Templates. And in there, you've got a variety of types of node shape. So you could just pick one of these up, copy it, paste it into there. So now we're going to run this Influence Diagram Analyzer, which is that icon there. We get this dialog and it's telling us to choose decision nodes, chance nodes, and utility nodes. Well, we have to have at least one decision node, and we have to have a utility node. Well, the, no, we know the utility node must be that one. We've only got one decision node here, which is the marquee decision. And we're going to keep things very simple here, because we're assuming that we can't observe either rain or whether the barbecue goes ahead before making the decision. So it's simply going to calculate the optimized decision. Now, you've got a number of options here. We can maximize or minimize utility. We want to maximize it because we've defined utilities as negative when they're cost and as positive when they're profit. It's usually worth clicking these because this will simplify the decision tree that results. Now select build decision tree. And there you can see it's given me the optimal decision which is a no marquee and that has utility of 94,000 compared with only 89,500 if we choose to hire the marquee. And of course, you can adjust these settings. Now, having built this decision tree, I can actually save the settings I've got in here by simply doing export to file. We'll call this marquee. 
because what I might want to do now is look at how the optimal decision might change if there was a different probability of rain. So let's suppose that the probability of rain, instead of 5%, is 10%. I'm going to run the influence diagram analyzer again, but this time I can just import the file I just saved. So it's got all my settings and I'll just run the decision tree again. And you can see now the decision has changed. Now the optimal decision is to hire the marquee because that has a utility of 89,000 compared with only 88,000 for the no marquee case. Here's a slightly more complex example because it involves two decision nodes. And this relates to the problem of determining whether to bother taking our umbrella with us when we go out. And in particular, whether it's worth getting this special weather forecast in advance of making the decision to take the umbrella. So notice that I've got forecast as a parent of the umbrella decision node because we need to have an order of the decisions. So we'd certainly get the forecast first if we were going to get the forecast. And if we were, then the decision is going to be dependent on the result of that forecast. We make these dashed arrows because irrespective of what these parent values are for a decision node, we always just use the default values in here because when we run the influence diagram tool, it doesn't require us to know those dependencies. So we're going to run the tool. We know that utility is the utility node. We've got two decision nodes now. We've got the forecast decision node and we've got the umbrella decision node. This time we've got an observable chance node because if we get the forecast, we'll be able to observe the forecast result, which of course may influence whether or not we then take the umbrella. Then we're going to go for maximizing the utility. We'll switch these on, build the decision tree. This time I'm definitely going to need to adjust these settings. And there we have the result. And what it actually says is that the optimal decision is initially to get the forecast. And if you do make that decision, then if the forecast says rain, you should take the umbrella. And if the forecast says not rain, then you should not take your umbrella. If nevertheless you decide not to take the forecast, then your optimal decision would be to take the umbrella rather than not take the umbrella.